Well, tonight we are getting an up close look at one family's nightmare. This is a well known family experiencing something all of us can relate to concern for their teen driver. The Senate President Pro Tem and his wife, the Oklahoma County Clerk, got a terrible phone call January 5th. Their 16 year old son had been in a catastrophic accident on the highway. News 4's Allie Myers sat down with the Treat family for an update on their son's recovery and some brand new details. And this shocking crash may lead to a new state law. I 40 westbound at the mile marker 136 with a black Dodge Charger. No, 20, uh, no 28 available. 16 year old Mason Treat is behind the wheel. That black Charger, a birthday gift for a new driver. He's on his way to basketball practice. Warning, Deputy Mendoza, can I get the sheriff's office? There is a stop you. You have no tag on your vehicle. Is there a reason for that? Uh, yes, sir. The reason he was pulled over is because uh, didn't have the tag yet. And Oklahoma law allows for two months for that. He's sitting in his car doing everything that he's supposed to do. You know, he, he rehearsed with us how to talk to the officer, where you put your hands, um, explaining, you know, here's my paperwork, I'm a legal driver, and it should have been a simple conversation, and then he should have made it to basketball. 14 minutes after Deputy Jose Mendoza first pulled over Mason Treat. Okay. Tell you what, I was going to give you a written warning for the, for the, for the last plate, I'm not even going to do that. I don't want that to show. A drowsy driver nearly killed them both. Deputy Mendoza's dash camera continues to roll. It takes the injured deputy more than a minute to reach for his radio and call for help. Another two minutes before help arrives. An OHP trooper scans the deputy for injuries. Turns out they are neighbors and friends. Is your leg okay? I don't care about that. Three and a half minutes pass, another trooper arrives. The deputy is seriously injured, but no one has checked on the other victims. No one is helping the teen boy trapped in his car. Six and a half minutes after the call came in, a Yukon police sergeant is the first to check on Mason Treat. He arrives at the charger eight and a half minutes after the crash. From having a child approximately the same age, and I could tell he is young. I could tell from body behavior that it was pretty clear he had a pretty traumatic head injury. Mason was unconscious, unresponsive, broken, and seizing. I was angry when I realized the time gap. What if he would have survived the crash and wouldn't have survived those 10 minutes? Yukon Fire pried Mason from the wreckage and carried him to an ambulance 24 minutes after impact. We are so incredibly thankful for their service. My uncle's a sheriff, my grandfather's retired police officer, my brother-in-law's police officer. So we, we love our police officers. We, lo we love our first responders, all of them. Um, and, and we count on all of them, very much so. And I think when there's a moment that you feel like they almost failed, it, it's hard to process because that's who we do count on. You know, that's who we count on when we can't be there and our little boy is trapped in a car. Um, so it's hard. I was trying to evaluate. The, the Treat family is focused on gratitude for the sergeant who waited with their son in his darkest hour. He was able to, to hold his hand and talk to him and be with him. And of course, I didn't, we didn't know that till later, but there's just such a peace, you know, knowing, oh, somebody was there. Mason Treat spent 20 days in the hospital, five in ICU, first at OU Health, and then at Bethany Children's Center. Put your butt down. He's fighting go. a big fight that a lot of us wouldn't be strong enough to fight. And the fact that he couldn't walk, that he couldn't shower, that he couldn't do anything on his own, and now is wanting to go to car lots to look for a car. It's, a, it's nothing short of a miracle. I'm ready to drive. I want to go look at cars after this, actually. <laughs>
Mason's parents are also ready to get to work fixing the confusion that led to that traffic stop on I-40. There's discrepancy in the law I found since looking at it and it unnecessarily puts the traveling public at risk and law enforcement. Uh, and so we're going to fix that. I will fix that this year. The Senate pro tem is in his last legislative session. Mason was four years old when dad got into politics and mom is just getting started in public life. We're public servants. We want to fix things. And when we see something's broken, we want to try to fix it. We want to try to help people. Making high-speed highways safer for Oklahoma drivers, crafting the painful lesson of their son's experience into new rules of the road for all. Allie Meyer, Oklahoma's News 4. To be clear, the Treat family purchased Mason's car as part of a private sale. The rules for getting a tag after a private sale are different than for dealership sales. According to state law, private sale purchasers have 60 days to register their car and get a new tag. That law changed a few years ago, but there is obviously still a little confusion among law enforcement. We reached out to the Department of Public Safety to ask why the state troopers never checked on all of the victims involved in the crash. They chose to not issue a statement. We know the Treed family has met with the Commissioner of Public Safety, Service Oklahoma, and the Tax Commission. We'll keep you posted on any new legislation from Senator Treat.